Today's soft side swept bun is inspired by Gear Grammar at the 2015 Golden Globe Awards. And I wanted to show you guys how to accomplish her hair in a few easy steps. So you can see I've already curled my hair in one inch curls and I've pinned them up to let them cool because this is going to allow the curl to set a little bit longer. But I did not set my front bang area because she wore it very soft. Once you have taken all of your clips out and allowed them to cool, just comb through your hair with your fingers. Then what we're going to do is start adding a little bit of T's at our top of our hair. So I'm just going to be going in, taking one inch sections and adding some soft teasing to the very root of my hair because we need a little bit more volume and lift for this look. And then I'm just going to kind of brush it out with my fingers afterwards to kind of smooth things down because I want to have still a little bit texture left in the top of the hair. And you can see it just gives us more volume to the style. Then what we're going to do is section right behind our ear going up towards our part or our crown area. And I'm going to take a section like so and then I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side. Taking all of the hair forwards, we're going to do all of the hair that's in the back into a low ponytail. So I'm just going to show you guys here, it's just a quick low ponytail while still maintaining that volume in the crown area. Once we've done that, we're going to take the like smaller side or the side without the heavier part line. And we're just going to sweep it up and over our ponytail in the back like you see me doing here. We're going to place one or two bobby pins to keep this secure. Make sure that it's going up and around on top of the ponytail in the back. Then we're going to go to the opposite side and we're going to cut this in half. So I kind of like to go to my recession line and take all of this hair that's on the bottom. We're going to do the same thing that we did to the other side and we're going to pin this very loosely but up and over the ponytail to the other side like we did the previous one, securing it with a bobby pin or two. Once we've done that, we're going to go to the front, leaving out our fringe or our bang area, and then we're going to sweep this back and softly finger comb it with our hands. And then we're going to drape it up and around the ponytail, just like we did the previous section. Really making sure that you kind of smooth it out without taking all of the texture out. This is why I like to utilize my hands versus a brush. And then we're just going to twist that and tuck and pin it. Now, you guys can see I have a big lump that I saw later and I actually went back and repinned because it was a little lumpy. So just make sure that you're looking in your mirror and paying attention to what you're pinning. Then I'm going to take a small section out right in front of my ear because I want to drape this a little bit differently. That's why it's important to pin this a little bit looser for that under section. We'll come back to this strand in just a minute. First, we have to do a few other steps before we actually complete this part. Then we're going to split our ponytail in two and twist it in one direction all the way down to the very end. And then holding on the very end of your little twist, start tugging at strands on the side of that. This is going to expand the hair and keep it in that kind of twisted style. Then all you're going to do is twist it as you can see me, I'm going clockwise around my hair, holding it at the base of my ponytail, making sure that it's going around the base of my ponytail. Once I kind of have that secure and in the area that I want, I'm going to kind of pin around the edges and make sure that everything stays. Now don't worry if you have little pieces that are sprouting out a little bit, this just gives it a little bit more of like an undone look. Then we're going to do the same thing again, except we're going to twist it the opposite way. We're going to tug those little strands out on the side, and then we're going to twist it in the opposite direction. So we're going to go counterclockwise this time. And what I like to do for this one is kind of get the beginning of my twist done, and then pin some and then go back and kind of pin under my end part. Like I said, don't worry if some of the pieces are kind of a, like a little bit sticking out. That way it just gives you a little bit more of a softer look. I really like to utilize my mirror as well to kind of take a peek at what's going around on my hair to make sure that I have all my pieces exactly where I want them. Then we're going to go to that little front section right above your ear. I'm just going to drape this back up and over the top of our bun and I'm going to use more of like a softer pin, so the open pins, to make sure that it doesn't stick the hair in too hard. It makes such a difference using a pin versus the bobby pin a hairpin versus a bobby pin. So once I have that, I'm just going to kind of tuck over my ends and then kind of stick it inside the bun and then pin that so that the bobby pin is hidden once that's on there. Then all I'm going to do is just kind of separate out my bangs, give it a nice hairspray, and we have finished our really gorgeous kind of effortless side swept 
updo. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to check out some more of my casual looks like this two minute top knot that is linked in the description box below. Thanks guys!